watching for lots of knitting and crochet on Yarn Lane. You don't need to change channels. Pop the kettle on and meet us back here in a couple of minutes. You can also watch on the Yarn Lane YouTube channel and Facebook Live. To get a sneaky peek of the products featured on the show and shop, please go to the Yarn Lane website at www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 400 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels all day. Hi, my name is Wendy Orlando and I'm one of the guest designers at Yarn Lane. There's something really exciting happening on May the 3rd, 2021, when there will be a Yarn Lane half birthday takeover. I'm launching something very special for all the knitters and crocheters, so don't miss this golden opportunity to head on over and join us. See you soon. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I'm thrilled to be taking part in Young Lane's birthday celebrations. If you tune in from 9am on the day of the show, I'll be bringing you two brand new needle felt ink kits and also be sharing with you some new tips and tricks on how to create your very own masterpiece. Also, if you purchase anything on the day of the show, you're automatically going to be entered into a prize draw where you can win some amazing goodies. So why not treat yourself this bank holiday weekend and unleash your inner artist. Take care and I'll see you on the show. Hi. I'm Cara Libertson, and you can join me at 10 a.m. on the 3rd of May, and I'll be demoing some wonderful kits by Caf Facet. Now, last time these kits were on the show, they flew off the shelves, and here's just a little sample for you from one of the patterns on that show. So get yourself there. And also, if you buy on the 3rd of May, you get a free Yarn Lane mug and a Yarn Lane pin. So, what are you waiting for? Put it in your diary and we'll see you then. Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic and I am so excited to be part of Yarn Lane's half birthday celebrations. I'll be bringing with me some Woolly Chic knitting kits to make some gorgeous cushion covers and demonstrating how to knit cables and slip stitches. And remember, for everyone that buys something on the day, you'll automatically be entered into the most amazing prize draw to win some fantastic prizes. Hi, I'm Sam from Adventures in Crafting, and I'm really looking forward to taking part in the Yarn Lane Half Birthday Show, where I'll be sharing my exclusive new crochet design that involves some of these and some of these. So make sure you watch on the 3rd of May where there'll also be a fantastic prize draw and they'll be giving away some freebies. Happy half birthday, Yarn Lane. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 
They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, good afternoon, welcome to Yarn Lane. We are the only shopping channel solely dedicated to everything yarn. Whether it be knitting, or whether it be crochet, or whether it be doll making, or toy making, or anything, we cover it all. Yesterday we had something brand new, didn't we? We had to a crocodile stitch crochet yesterday. So now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce you to the, to the website before we start, just so you know how you can get in touch or how you can um, uh, by, by what we've got showing, to, showing you today. So literally, here we go. So if you go to yarnlane.com, you click on watch the show live. There's a little box to the right hand side there where you can send a message, where it says send a message. You just type your message in there. They, were the, they are the messages that will appear on the bottom of the screen. Um, I'll tell you how you can email in a second. But if you go to pre-order, now the way it works is at the moment we haven't played anything through the computer. So everything is on pre-order. As soon as I show it live, so in a minute, I'm going to show you everything I've got available this hour. There will be another column on the left hand side saying show deals, right? Or everything will appear there. If it sells out, it will say sold out in great big letters across the bottom. And all you do is if you just scroll down, there's a box that says add to basket. You click on there, put it in your, uh, put it in your basket. Now, putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee it's yours. You do need to check out before it's yours. Now, if you bought something from Sewing Street this morning or something off the website this morning at Sewing Street, <clears throat> that means your P&P &P is paid for. Even though we're different companies, we come from the same warehouse. So, um, so just so you know, uh, there's no extra P&P &P if you already paid that this morning. Different phone number. It's a different phone number, isn't it, for Yarn Lane? It'll go, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm just choking. I thought... I'll just get rid of the disinfectant spray. Uh, the different the phone, here's the phone number. <clears throat> uh, 0800 4 700 600. Also, we've got a different email address. If you want to email us, it is studio at yarnlane.com. Studio at yarnlane.com. I'll introduce you to Carol. Well, you'll know Carol. She's been on lots and lots of times. But I'm going to introduce you to all the, the goodies, first of all, before we start. So, let's start. These are all Carol's designs from Cool Wool. Uh, let's start here with this one. So this is called a June shawl, a June shawl. It's beautiful. Now, this is the one you can see in the picture on the website, isn't it? Oh, it's, the colours are amazing, aren't they? Let me, oh, let me get it right around. There you go. How beautiful. That's right. Just get the camera. There you go. How beautiful is that? It's like an enchanted cobweb, isn't it? Really, really lovely. And the colours are out of this world. So it's called the June Shawl. So what you get in this first bundle is you get your instructions and you get your yarn. So let me just put my glasses on. So this is lovely. Look at the colours in there. It's King Cole. It's 30% wool, 70% premium acrylic. You get 100 grams. This is called Beach, the colour. And, um, and what? Yeah, beach as in the tree, not beach as in lying in your swimming trunks. Uh, you can wash it up to 40 degrees, you use knitting needles. Well, we'll ask her about the knitting needles and the crochet needles and things like that. But isn't that beautiful? The colours in there are just exquisite. And then all the instructions you get are all in here with everything that you need to know all in there, ready to go. Of course, this is crochet. This is crochet. So that one there is called uh, Beach Beach. Right, now the next colourway, let me just move that one out of the way, and that one. Oh, these are lovely. So this one is called Sea Breeze. Oh, I used to drink those all the time. Uh, it's vodka, cranberry, uh, grapefruit juice, yeah, and something else, isn't it? Anyway, 16 99 when I used to drink. 16 99 those colours are beautiful. Oh, actually, if I hold on that way, look, it's all the colours in there. Same yarn, different colour, £16.99. 
to make that lovely, lovely shawl. Beautiful shawl. Just put that into shot. There you go. So that one's Sea Breeze. <clears throat> if you want to see any of the colours again, just let me know and we'll show them to you. And then the last one is Water Lily. Oh, that's nice. Look at, oh, yes. Look. Beautiful, beautiful colours in there. Carol hasn't even seen some of these colours yet. Lovely. Okay, then the other project we've got today, <clears throat> I do apologise about my throat today, it's really bad. Um, this is cute, so this is mm -hmm. Entrelac, or Entrelic, shaped cowl. Oh, <clears throat> I'll just show you this like this. Oh my word. Now, what's it remind me of? It remi I can't think what that crisscross of the, this is knitting, this one, isn't it? The crisscross knitting reminds me of it. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? And look at that colourway. Oh, now, I thought that was going to be a different coloured balls of wool look. But it's not. Look. Look. So now this feels beautiful. This is Hayfield Spirit Double Knitting. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Oh, and this one doesn't have a name. This one just has a number. We called it Harmony. Uh, washed at 40 degrees. Dry flat, reshaped whilst wet. All the, all the usual. Uh, maybe dry cleaned. Oh, my word, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. It's just stunning. Gorgeous. I love the way the colours all interlink with each other as well. Okay, so that one was called Harmony. I've then got it in, I'll move, I'll move this one up, it's called what? It'll be mystery this one I'm presuming, there you go, so you get the pattern, $21.99, cool, um, yeah mystery, mystery, mystery there it is, those colours are lovely aren't they, and again the pattern, you get all the instructions you need in the pattern, Oh, in fact, there's pages and pages and pages of instructions in this one. Look. Oh, how brilliant. Oh, it makes such a, it's such a lovely effect, isn't it? Okay, so that one's a mystery. And then finally, oh, you're going to love, you are going to love these colours. Look. Autumn. Autumn. They are incredible, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colour. I mean, how many colours have you got in there? Imagine how long it takes to make all that. Twenty-one ninety-nine. That is going to look exquisite made up, isn't it? Acrylic wool mix. 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Beautiful, the variegated. I don't, would you call it? I wonder if you call it variegating wool, but it's just beautiful. Self-stripping, excuse me. Right, okay, I've got some other things. Before we go and see Carol, I've got some other things to show you because things you might need. Right, now, I saw this packet, right, this case, and I said, oh, I know what that is. Don't you tell me what that is. Don't you but no, if you're a knitter, right, I don't know if you've seen this before. Oh, here we go, here we go. So Kat has seen it before and it completely and utterly sold out. You know we do crochet hooks. Now what I was expecting, I was supposed to, ex expecting to unzip it and there's be all the different coloured crochet hooks going down there like that. No. Look. Interchangeable knitting needles. So you go from a 3.5 all the way up to an 8. But obviously they're not, that's not all. You've got the wires that go. Now, have I got different length wires as well? I'm going to open it. I'll open it, look. Oh, my word. I've got now, I'm sorry, I, I'm ignorant to this. I don't know what these, I don't know what these all are for. So I'll have to ask Carol later. But I know, like Kat's just told me, last time these came to air, they completely and utterly sold out. Also, on Monday, the show on Monday, you've seen the adverts, I'm sure, going out. It's our six month, Yarn Lane's six month birthday. Rebecca Reed will be here 
Uh, it's a whole takeover. The whole five hours of the show are all Yarn Lane on Monday. Um, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you have saved these? Wouldn't you have saved these for the birthday? Yeah. Rebecca Reed adores these. I'm surprised they're even in our show today. So we bought lots. We did buy lots. So if there's any left today, I'm sure they'll repeat them on the birthday. But they're beautiful, aren't they? 39 I just love anything that's all coloured like that. Also, if you crochet and you knit, if you've already got the crochet hooks, then imagine having the knitting needles to go with. All beautifully presented in that uh, presentation case. 39.99. Right, very quickly, because obviously we need to go on with some crocheting, some knitting. I have got here as well some quick locking stitch markers. 14.99 from Clover. These are always on the website, but they always do sell out. They always, they always uh, disappear out of um, of acts people because they're in a necessity almost, aren't they? If you're doing your um, you need to count, count your stitches, not count your stitches, mark your stitches. Right, very quickly, I've got a crochet hook, four and a half. Now, I'm showing you one four and a half. This is from the same make, isn't it, as the ones inside there, Zing. I'm showing you one make here. On the website, we have other makes of. They won't be in the show thing. You have to go to the shop on Yarn Lane. What code have I got? I've got TOZW73. Now it says four and a half, doesn't it? It's definitely four and a half. Ignore our graphics, because it says a four millimetre on the graphic. It's definitely four and a half. 2.99. But if there are other makes of, we have bamboo ones, we have the, what, the clove ones with the wide handle and everything like that, ergonomically designed ones, everything. So that's the one we're showing you today. But if you go to the website, you can see others. And lastly, I've got now these are always very popular. These are uh, wool needles, but I don't know if you can see at the end there, you don't have to thread an eye. You've actually got loops of like, I want to call it fishing wire. It's obviously something a little bit more um, complicated than that. But you've got big loops that you can put your yarn through. So when you're stitching a jumper together or a cushion together, or anything like that, these are the wool needles in different sizes. And then you literally have to thread your yarn through the loop at the end of each of these. $1.99. Add it to your order, because if you paid your PMP, no, we don't pay extra. It's not like, oh, you bought something else, you have to pay more PMP. It's not like that. It's $3.95 for the whole day. Okay, I had a quick message from Karen. I have to read it now. Saying, uh, King Cole Riot, oh, is that one of my full things? Yep, yep. It's uh, lovely to work with. It's so soft. I've knitted with it, but not crocheted yet. Karen in Bristol. It's so funny. We've got Karen in Kent. We've got Karen in Wigan. We've got Karen in Bristol. We've got Karen in Wales. All the Karens. Right. Are we ready? So we're going to do this, first of all, aren't we? Um, this is beautiful. I just love it. Are these... Carol, hello, first of all. Hi, John. Um, How are you doing? These are, are these your designs? Yes. They are... Stunning, I have to say. They're but oh, you but you're wearing something completely different, are you? Yes, I am. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've got I've given those two to you. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, first of all, the colours you've chosen, but also secondly, it's just there's just something like kind of almost magical about, it, isn't it? It's just a really, really lovely. The thing about it is, is it's really very easy. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, yeah. As you'll see, there's a. There's a few rows to set up, but then after that, it's a two two row repeat. Okay, so, so now uh, I know simple. nothing, right? As you know, <laughs> uh, about life or about, about crochet. Where where do you start? Where do you start you with start it? Start in the centre point. Oh, here. There. Yes, that's oh, where you I start. Oh, because I thought you were going to say down here no, or down and there. And you go outwards. And the beauty of doing it that way is that you you just keep going till you run out of yarn. If you you know you can make it as big as you like oh really. and also you don't have to worry about changing color because no, the, the yarn does, does it for, it for you, you doesn't exactly, it exactly yeah. and yet it seems to work yes it, it's, it's, it's it, weird isn't it the way it seems to it seems to change for, for a row a yes whole row. nobody How sat have they and gone oh carol's going to use no, this one absolutely. so we need to make sure you can crochet 10 inches of the one cut. it's just brilliant the way it works because yeah. i always think of variegated threads in a sewing machine and that changes every you know what I mean? It's changing every few few stitches, isn't it? Where this is just beautiful, and the colours are just, just they are lovely colours, aren't, aren't they? they? Autumn colours, yeah. I love them. Even though we're just going into spring, yes, summer, well, but there you know, you go. <laughs> the thing is, we call it autumn. That can be worn all year round, can't it? But okay, so yeah, take us take us autumn. off. How we so we're going to start in this bit up here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, right in the centre there. Okay. So um, in the pattern, you've got both a chart and and in, written instructions because that's how I like to work. So um, I like to make sure people have 
whatever they prefer. Yeah. I'm going to use the chart today. Is, I was going to say, which do you prefer? I prefer the chart most oh, do definitely. You? Well, it's just, I can see, you can see the shape, yeah. you know, as you're going rather than words. So I'm going to make a slip knot first. Uh -huh. Just a little loop. And with this one, it's quite easy. We start off with five, just tighten that bit, five chains, that's okay. all. Now I'm using a four millimeter hook here, which is probably why you had that on your graphics. Oh, but okay, anyway. is it meant to be a four millimeter? <laughs> yes. Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So Kat, <laughs> it's meant to be a four millimeter. Okay. Kat's not listening. No. Yeah, so, so we've obviously, but then, but then, we need to sort that code out. We'll source that. We'll source that. So you okay. need to don't buy that one because you need a four <laughs> millimeter. Okay, so just five chains, mm -hmm. and this is the five chains here on the chart right. where we're starting. Now we're going to do that, which is a treble into the first chain. So let's right. get that. So if done. you've never crocheted before, how do you know what the things on your chart mean? There's an instruction. Uh, there's a key there of of the names of them. Oh, okay. Um, here. Yeah. But if you and if you haven't uh, crocheted much before, there's so many resources to find out what stitches are. But don't forget, this is a UK. And that was going to be my next question because pattern. we had yes. a book yesterday that was all American. American, crochet, yes, yeah. yes. And not only do they use the same names, but it's the same name for different stitches, which yes. is very confusing very sometimes. Good. So this is UK. Yeah. So there we are. I've just done five chains and a treble. Right. Now we carry on this way. So we're going round and round like this. So we do two chains and a treble into that centre. Right. So we're just going to have that little bit made now. So let's do two chains and a treble into the centre. And then I'll show you what it all looks like. OK, so we've got a sort of a shape looking like that first little bit there. Right. It'll obviously develop as we go <coughs> out. <laughs> okay, so it just looks like a splodge. Yeah, on your page it does at the, at the moment. moment. So let's do row two now. So we start off with three chains, which is how you crochet, as we'll know, that's how you sort of start off with a treble. It, it replaces a treble right. at the beginning of a row. And now we do five trebles into that first space, this first big space here. So it's quite easy, there's lots of space to work into. Uh huh. You don't have to go into individual stitches, which sometimes people find a bit fiddly. Of course. So three, four, five. And this grows quite quickly, this as well, this shawl. How, how long did, would it take you oh, to... Oh, it didn't um, take me very long to do that one at all, no. Um, I couldn't actually put any no, no, rows no. on it, but... Uh, is it, do you, are you one of these people who does a few rows, then goes off and makes the tea, and then does a few rows, and then... I do a few rows, and then I get asked to do something else, and I say, no, I've just got to do one more row. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that sort of person. Yeah. <laughs> so, one treble in the middle treble. You always actually do a treble in the middle. That's what creates a spine up the centre there. Okay. Now, five trebles in the other space on the other side. So one. So you America, if you if you're used to American terminology, you will call this a double. Right. But we well, we're not confusing them because it's all UK. All UK, yeah. So that's three. Four. Whoopsie daisy. Let's do that one again. So yarn over. Oh, in, look how it's coming together. Through, very quickly, yeah. Four. Five. And after you've done the first few rows, it's just a repeat of two rows. Yep. Oh, okay. See, now that looks a little bit more like the yes. shape. <laughs> so we've done row two, now row three. Row three is back over here. So we start with five chains and a treble into that first. Right, I'm just going while chain. you're doing that, I'm going to look at the pattern while I'm, while yep. so if I can follow it. Oh, I see. So are the rows on the drawing the arches? Is that is that a row? That's a row. And yes. I'll just look at that. Like uh, yeah, that. right. Yes, yes. That because I was yeah. looking at it thinking I can't see any rows on there, but your row is actually so where it's got the number three yep. at the base of one of this those. This is the arches, direction we're going. We're going making. up there to the centre and back down. Oh, there. I see. Yeah, that's the rows. Because you always think I always think of crochet like it's, knitting. You're just going in a straight, straight line. Yeah, yeah. but the, that's the beauty of crochet because you you can you can do quite a lot with shaping. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's that first tiny little corner bit there. Right. Now we've got a bit of shaping to do. We've got a, a one chain, we've got a treble into there, a double treble and a treble. So let me show you those. So, so. you make a chain and yeah. then into that chain you do those stitches you just mentioned? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm doing a treble there. A double treble, so that means you wrap it twice round before you start right. into the next one. Does that mean you've got more loops on your... And you go hook. loop through first two, second two, third two, and it makes a taller stitch. Do you only ever go through two then? Two. When you're pulling it yeah. back, you only ever go through two? Yeah. In, this, in these sort of stitches. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we are. We've got a sort of a three stitches there. Whoops, let's try and make that a bit clearer. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Yeah. Three stitches yeah, it's all there. back to front. Yeah. yeah, and one slightly taller. Okay. Okay, so now one more chain. And then in the centre, we always do the same. So find the centre treble. It's quite easy. It's the spine that goes up the middle there. You work a treble, two chains, another treble, another two chains and one more treble and that creates the center section okay. so that's like the triangle where it turns yes you yeah. know, at the top there so there we go you come up one side like that and then we do the same the other side so it starts with one chain skip the first of the five trebles in the row below mm -hmm. do one treble in the next one a double treble in the next one so wrap it around twice in, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. A treble in the next one. And then we finish off with one chain and we're mirroring what happened on the other side right. really. So into the, that last gap, we do a treble, two chains. You're gonna now a three yard. And a treble. Oh no, is that your tail? Is that your tail that's hanging down there? Have you yeah. got another ball somewhere else? Oh yes, Yeah, that's, that's my tail. That stays there till the oh, end. Yeah, yeah. You don't have much weaving in to do on this, which is great. Yeah. So there we're starting to get the shape. We're starting with the dark colours, but pretty soon some other colours will come into play. Uh-huh. And that was what was that, row three? So we're now on row four. Now row four is very similar to row two. So when so you go to row four, here. you're at the other end. You're at the other side, yeah. yeah. Even ones are on this side. Right. And the old ones so are on this side. So do you turn your work round? Yeah, you turn. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, should have said that. So no, we're no, now no, no. I'm on just row learning, four. So, yeah. so we've gone end of row three, turn round to start row four. And again, right. we start with three chains to right. make our first treble. Yeah. There. And then, one, like in row two, five trebles into that gap. Right. So that, you have to make sure you've gone in the right gap because there's a few gaps to go into. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so five, one, two, three, four, five. You go so fast. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. So five there. Right. Uh, where are we? We're up four, here. We're in row four. So uh, uh, what we've got now is a chain, a double crochet and a chain. And the double crochet goes into that tall stitch in the middle. Right. Yeah. So that Do you know what? I think, I, think the ch I was just reading the instructions. And yes, when you've got the, the diagram in front of you, yeah. it's much quicker because I was just trying to follow you on the written one. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong. Neither of them are right or wrong, are they? It's whichever you no, like the best. But Sometimes people like to have both, and I think that's a really good idea because if you follow the picture and then you think, or you follow one or the other and you think, oh, I'm not quite sure about yes, that, yes, yeah. you can refer to the other way yeah. of, of, of it being written down and, uh, you know, yeah, just double check. I also check. think that as a starter, I think I'd like to do the writing because I think uh, now I've got to do three chains and I do the three chains, then I'd look. Whereas that one, I think once I know what chains and trebles are, I'd feel more confident. Then yes, that's picture, right, yeah. yeah. So we've come up here, five trebles in, a, in that gap, yeah. chain, double crochet in the long stitch, chain, and now five trebles in there, which I've just done. One treble in the centre again, okay. just, which creates your spine. So there it is there. There's that stitch. So are all middle. drawings, chart drawings, done the same? 
as in are all yes. do all of them have the same diagram for a treble and the they should have yes and that is why if you've got a if you've got a book and it's written in the the way that you're not used to you know american or yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. if you look at the diagram that should show you and oh, in fact sometimes that's the only way people can figure out what way it's actually yes, written yes exactly actually i think i've gone a bit wrong here john is that the center of Let's which just one take that one out Oh, now I'll do a roundup in a second, uh, but Water Lily, Water Lily is, is limited now. Oh, it's a graphic in at the moment. Is this, Water Lily is this one, isn't it? Yeah. Water Lily has um, been the most popular in this one. Isn't that funny? I thought Autumn would be, but Water... Oh, okay. When I get to the cowl, Autumn's most popular in the cowl, but Water Lily in the shawl is the most popular so far. It's a beautiful colours, isn't it? I will, I will do, um, oh yeah, and I'm no, I know it's really confusing on the web. Um, it's difficult because you won't have seen the colours. They need, really need to put a picture of the colour of the balls on, of balls of wool or yarn on there, don't they really, to know what they are. Anyway. Okay. Have you got to another colour yet? Are you still on your brown? No, still on my brown. There's quite a bit of brown. As you go up, it starts to obviously yeah. change. So now all, each ball will be the same. It'd be, be different, won't it? Because they're not. All, they yeah. can't have wound them all exactly the same, can they? Th they will start at a different point in the sequence. Yes. But the sequence should should be the same. Yes. Yeah. Um, but like you say, it'll, one will start on a brown, one will start on a yellow, one will start yeah. on a. Yeah. If you like, when you get to the end of the first ball, you could try and find the matching next segment if you like of the second ball oh. i didn't bother no i, I wouldn't on. either no no it all <laughs> blends so beautifully doesn't it <coughs> okay yeah so we're just coming around this side now mm -hmm. so i've got to do a chain and a double crochet in that long stitch there it is claire loves the chart she says i don't think i've ever used written instructions oh yeah yeah and then christine says oh john scott I wish I'd seen this earlier. I couldn't find all my knitting needles, so I've ordered some from the Long River. <gasps> oh! How very dare you. Dare you. <laughs> They're great, but only have them in half millimetre increments, i.e. two, two and a half, three, three and a half, at to order 3.25 and 3.75, or the cable. Oh dear, Christine, you went Just, splashing out on the Long River. That's, that's probably because maybe they're an American make, because Americans tend to have the... Uh, the half sizes and not the three quarters. Oh, sizes. do they? Yeah. Mm. One in the final. There we are. Right, I think I got through that all right. When I get chatting, sometimes it all goes a bit wrong. But oh, hey, sorry. No, my that's fault. fine. No, it's not. Look, it even sits like that. How, How brilliant. How cool is that? So you know where you are. Uh huh. It's and the then is, is that, that literally up. it? You just are there it, any more stitches or is that no? It? That is it. Row we now we've done row four. Row five is the same as row three. With an extra well, there is an extra little bit there. But it's no in, different. But stitches, it's no different. Yeah. And then row six is the same as row four. Okay. So I've done it right up to row seven. But basically, you're just repeating the last. See this little line here yeah. to show you the repeat. Yeah. You're repeating those last two rows. Uh, but are there, more, are there more stitches or do you just keep going? You just you get keep to the going because you're increasing in every row. It just gets bigger and bigger. Okay. So. And then, and then, so when it's at the perfect size, yeah. how do you finish it? You just stop. Remember, it's not, <laughs> it's not knitting. All you have to do is just, pull, stop. just stop. Just pull your yarn through your last stitch. And oh, just knot off the last stitch and that's it? If you have a look on that one, though, I have actually, I had some yarn left. So I did some double crochets all the way I around thought, the edges. I thought it had a bit of a border. So, uh, oh, yeah, hang on. that's what Can I did. Can you see that, Ollie? There, I'll move it in. There you you might see it better on the straight bit. Oh, on the straight bit. Because that turned out to be a different colour. Oh, there. yes, there. <laughs> oh, so that's the same all the way around? All then? the way around. Just, I just did one row of Okay, so crochets. you got to the end of the last row. And yep. then you just did what round the edge? Just keep going, double crochet all the way around the edge. Right. And in the pattern, I haven't got the last page, uh, it oh tells yeah. you how many to work in, into each sort of stitch or gap. Oh, well, it whatever. tells you to do the double double yeah. crochet if you want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. And, well, I was going to, oh, blocking. Do you have to block Yes. It? Now, if you see the picture in there. Yeah. Inside or on the front? So oh, there. here, this. 
Now, can you see the difference there between the blocked bit on the left? Oh, yes, it's so and much the more open. blocked bit on the right. right so I've just used some pins there. I've blocked one bit of it and left the other deliberately because I wanted to show people. Sometimes people say, well, why do you need to block? With lace work, it's, it's just critical, really, because it just opens up all the lace. So we don't see the you know, hardly. See, it just looks like a stripe. Pattern, what are yeah. those blue and what's that blue they're, and red? They're thing? pins. They're called uh, blocking pins. They have a lot of sh needle sharp pins in them. Oh yeah. And you just push that through. I tend to do it on the ironing board or some so so foam if you squares. So, well, we sell a, we well we sell the the blocking thing that I had in the last hour on Sewing Street. But yes. um, and literally, do you just ste do you steam it or what do you do with it? Yeah, I just it? use an, an iron over the top. You can, you've got two choices. You can either do a, a wet block, so you can soak it for fifteen minutes, the whole the whole the whole thing. thing, and pin it out to shape, or what I tend to do is a steam block. So I'll pin it out first, bits of it, if you haven't got room. Yeah, and I was going to say, because this is a big blooming yeah. ironing board you've got, yeah. and you've done that on an ironing board. And just press little bursts of steam from your iron over the top, and then I usually just try and manipulate it a bit with my fingers, make sure it's okay. And it has, and it opens up that, that lace works so lovely. Beautifully. Yeah. And, and do you just leave it to dry on yeah. the block? Leave it to dry. And then you move to the next bit. And then un then you can unpin it once it's completely dry, yeah. So yeah, sometimes so. the blocking's going to take longer than the crochet. Um, it depends. You can buy those big, uh, what are they made of? I don't know. Uh, kids' blocks, you know, where they, they oh, put out. Oh, the, 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 um, um, Anna Nicka came in. Yes. And she had the, the, the things you put on the children's floor, the like jigsaw. That's right, jigsaw puzzles. So and you make, they lay I, it on the floor yeah. and you can make it big and oh, yeah, yes. yeah, so that's what you can do. I tend to put those out now. I used to do it on the ironing board, but now I do those. And I put a towel over it as yeah. well and then pin it all out. Oh, and, how brilliant. So it doesn't take that long, really. But it is an essential. Well, I would say it is for that sort of pattern. Yeah. But not everybody likes the effect. Um, but I, I, for, for lace, you know, whole open work like that. I yeah. Think it, it really oh, no, I think you'd, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. Let me, before we go on to the next project, let me just recap those bundles. So we'll start with this one, which is autumn. No, beach, not autumn at all. Beach, beach, beach. So beach like a tree, not um, beach like sitting on. So what you get to make the one that Carol's just showed you, is you get two, so two balls is big enough to make yep. all of that. Yep. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, just keep going. You just, just keep, keep going. going there's yeah. no, I, I suppose all you have to think about is if you are going to do the double crochet yeah. around the end, you just have to leave so many ounces or grams or whatever at the end, don't you, to do that. But you get your two balls and your pattern, 16.99. Oh, yeah, and then if you want to go, if you want to watch the demo again, go to YouTube, uh, Yarn Lane, YouTube, 1st of May, and you'll be able to see it all again. Won't be there till later on today. Won't be there till after the show today. Okay, so that one was beach. Now we've got sea breeze. It's lovely colours in there, aren't they? Look. Yeah, if you make these, please put pictures, any of them, please put the pictures on the Yarn Lane uh, fan page, won't you? And did you know there's a Yarn Lane fan page on uh, Facebook? Because there's a Sewing Street one, there's also a Yarn Lane one. $16.99. Then this is the most popular of the three. Uh, there, there are single figures of this now. Single figures of this one. Sixteen ninety nine. That is lovely, isn't yeah. it? Beautiful in that colourway. You can never tell when when you come in in the morning. You see all the the um, or when you unpack it the day before. You see all the different colours, and you think, oh, I reckon that one will be the most popular. I reckon that this is beautiful. But I really thought that beach would have been the would have been the. And I hadn't seen the samples at that point. Didn't know what the samples made of. That's beautiful. Now we're going to move on to knitting. We're going to do knitting. I'll take you through the bundles before we start again. So that, that makes this. Let me show you what it makes if you just joined us. It's cute, isn't it? But it's just, I love that lattice work. And I can't put it on because it'll hit my microphone, I think. Okay. So that colourway is this one here. So you get the instructions. Now, how do I say this? On Entrelac? Ontelac, yes. Oh, that was nearly Ontelac. right, just with the funny accent. <laughs> so you get the instructions. They're nice, sturdy instructions, lots and lots of pages in there. Plus your two balls of harmony. That's beautiful. Now, this is acrylic and wool mix. 
21 pounds and 99 pence beautiful beautiful colors in there then we have oh mystery i was going to call it harmony it's mystery <laughs> oh is that one harmony oh that one's harmony oh i'm sorry i'm getting so confused did i say harmony sorry it's been a long five days i've still got another day to go yet but i'll be all right so this one's called mystery it's a mystery as toya said 21.99. One person laughed. Nobody else understood that one. <laughs> Me and Carol knew what I was talking about. You have to be of a certain age. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, 40. Yeah, 21.99. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours in there. And then the most popular one, this one, is this called Autumn? This is called Autumn. Oh, look. Cat's going crazy over this one. Beautiful. The colours in there are just incredible. I bet it's going to look amazing. If you do, ma well, if you make any of them, please put the, put them up on um, on the Facebook page because I'd love to see them. Do what? What? Oh, and the knitting needles. Yeah, the knitting needles. Yeah, um, we thought these would be saved for the birthday show on Monday, but there you go. Um, so these go eight millimeter, seven millimeter, six millimeter, five and a half, five, four and a half, four, three and a half. Um, and then you get all the wires, then you get these, I'll ask Carol, do you know what these little black, oh, because I'll ask Carol what all these are for in a minute, and those little tubular things there. Um, we'll ask Carol in a second, but all of that is beautiful. If you know about knitting, you'll know exactly what these are all for. £39.99. Right, okay. So before we make it, can I ask about, keep the graphics yeah. in for these, Kat, if you don't mind. What are all the, let me take them out, what are all these bits for in here? Okay. So you've got your wires, obviously, that you connect your two yes. um, needles to. I've got a circular here, slightly different. Oh, you've got make. some there. Sorry, it's you've a got different some. make. This one. Yeah. But, uh, oh, okay. So no, but that's these the... connect there. So you screw those in. Right. To the end. Um, if you, I mean, you could use this to make a blanket go backwards and forwards. You don't have to be working in the round. Right. We, we will be on hours. Um, but those, the round black things are stoppers that you can put onto the end of your cable. So if you took one of these needle off and put, just put stoppers on, if you wanted to use these some, for something else, you could just take them off the wire, leave, leave the thing on the wire oh, and put stoppers on see, so it doesn't So if you're halfway off. through a project, take the, leave the wire where it is, yep. put one of these on the end of it, on the leave your end. knitting on it yep. and then use a different wire to start your next project. That's okay. right. So what are these things or whatever. here then? Can you oh, see Oh yes, I think they're extenders. So if you're doing something really, really long, you could take two of your cables and put oh. those together with the extender in between them. So you get um, quite a lot in there then you for your, because yeah. there's three yeah. different lengths of wire. Yeah. You've got four different stop, no, eight stoppers, four sets of stoppers, and you've got an extender as well. Yeah. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so I let's I love move. the different colours. I think it's wonderful. I love uh, the, all these colours. I'm loving their yeah. crochet hooks that come in. Yeah, yeah. Every single one's a different colour, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Right. I love this cowl. Is it called a cowl? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you just said you're knitting in the round. Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what you're doing first, if you look at the bottom of it, if you yeah, put it no, there, put it John, in. let me move that have a little side. look, try and explain a bit. Yeah. So you start at the widest section there at the bottom and you make a 20 of those little triangles at the bottom. Right, right. So I've got some little triangles here and I'm going to show you how to make them in a minute, but this is what they start out like they look really odd at first oh yes yeah, so there's big little gaps little triangles between. big gaps between them yeah so i'll show you how all that works so you first of all work a, a row or a round whatever we call it we'll talk about that in a minute yeah of triangles then you turn and you work back and you fill in these little sections here oh. with the rectangles now and would you say this is an advanced knitter or will a newish knitter be able to do this I would say it's probably knowledgeable beginner. Okay, no, that's good. It's, that's it's good. We just like to be pearl. honest because you want people to extend yeah. themselves. You have to be able to knit pearl and you have to be able to pick up stitches because Perfect. you pick up stitches along the edge here to start off and work your, tri um, your next square. And you have to be on the ball about following the pattern. It's oh, okay. easy to get lost. Right. 
So. I've just got two quick messages for you. Yep. Carol says, loving the shawl demo. I'm so pleased to see someone else crochet like me. I thought I was doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? And then June says, I love Carol. I've just oh, bought bless. the water lily shawl. Never used charts, but really looking forward to trying. Oh, that's so that's fantastic. nice, isn't it? Thank um, you, okay, ladies. so you're, you're going to show us how to get to I'm, that point. I'm going to show you how to get started right, with the triangles. Yeah. And then we can talk about the rest of the construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of, oh, I'd say we've got plenty of time. We've got time. Yeah, because there's quite a lot involved with this. Okay, so go. You start off with one stitch, okay? Right. Just one stitch. And you actually, you start off with a wrong side row and you purl it. You just purl that one stitch. Okay. And then you turn, and I'm going to get over this turn in in a minute. I'm going to show you something really clever in a minute. Some okay. of you have seen this before. Next row, you start to increase. So you knit into the front and then into the back of the same stitch. That creates two stitches. Will people who knit know, know that? Yeah. That's a KFB, thing, knit front and back. Right. It's quite a standard um, increase. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to turn and purl. Purl those two. So it's a bit fiddly at first until yeah, you yeah, get yeah. started. But it's really satisfying. I like <laughs> doing little bits at a time, I have to say, because uh -huh. otherwise I get a bit bored. <gasps> You allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> right. And the next, next one, you knit the first stitch and you knit in the front and back of the last stitch. Right. And that's basically what you're going to be doing all the time. So you're repeating purl one row and the next row is knit to the last stitch and front and back in the last stitch. Now, the problem people have with Onchelac is all this turning. Right, yes. So I'm going to show you how to knit backwards. Uh oh. It's fair. It's honestly, I've had I've shown this before on some of the uh, other um, demos I was doing here. Uh, there was an onshellac blanket in one of them, oh. and I show people how to knit backwards. And I've had lots of messages saying it was a game changer for me. I've been knitting for sixty years. I never even knew oh, you could do wow. it. Oh wow! So there you go. So right. I'm going to show you now. Okay. So we're we've in reality we should be purling this, but we're actually going to knit from left to right. So the way to show yourself, you've got to get it in your brain, how to do it, is, is to look at it as if you were purling, put your needle through where you would normally put it through, and then turn round, and then you will see, oh, okay, so that's where I've got to go. I've got to go in there, and then turn back, till you've got used to it. Yeah. Where's my yarn? Here we go. And then next thing you've got to show yourself is, Okay, so that's what a pearl is normally like. You wrap round like that. Yeah. Wrap round like that. Wrap round like that. Turn it round and see what that means in terms of knitting backwards. So you wrap round like that. Oh, uh, I see. So you're looking at all the components of what they look like from the other side. So you get it in side. your head yeah. what you've got to do. And then you're just pulling it through. So I'm going to do that again. So yeah. you go into that stitch that way. And again, teach yourself that by looking at the back. Go round it, pull through and off. In to the back, round, pull through and off. And you can see eventually when you get the hang of it, this is going to be so much faster because you've finished there now and you just go straight back and carry yes. on. Um, and you don't have to drop your yarn, which means your tension's better. So there's all sorts of benefits of, of teaching yourself to do this. So I'm right, at the last yeah. stitch, front and back, keep increasing. See the little triangle starting to uh -huh. form? Now we're going to purl backwards again. Sorry, knit backwards is what we're actually doing. So in and round. And in the pattern, I tell you, I show you how to do this. Oh, uh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, how to teach yourself. Because it is just a case of getting it in your head, obviously. It's a new thing, but you've just got to get... Yeah, and also you, your body will your have fingers muscle working. memory, won't exactly. it? Exactly. think, oh, That's this is how I knit, but you've got to teach your body you've got to, to do teach it a different it. way. It is the muscle memory, exactly. Yeah, so we keep going like this until we end up with nine stitches, I think. So the increase in the last one, as usual, front and back. 
Larry says she's made an Entrelac scarf before. Once you get the first two rows figured, it's easy and fun. What a great demo, Carol. Aww. And Claire mentioned, oh, she, Claire mentioned yesterday saying she can crochet back to front as well. So yeah. she'll have to give a go at doing knitting back to front now as well. But see, I've never had a go at crocheting back to front. That, that to me sounds really hard. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? You know, some yeah. people find like you're used to doing this now, so this is easy for you. Yeah. It's still it's still a bit tri bit fiddly. Yeah. I'm not as fast, obviously, going that way as this way, but uh, oh, it saves all that turning. That's why I never used to actually make anything with Entrelac because it used to just frustrate me. But when I thought about it a bit more, what I did was I remembered a girl at school called Grace. Oh yes. I wonder how Grace is. We had a knitting challenge at school and we were all sat in the library doing these, this knitting and she used to knit across and then knit backwards. And I, Whoa, what on earth are you doing? She said, I'm just knitting backwards. <gasps> and I forgot about it for years. And then when I came to look at this design that I wanted to do, I, I remembered Grace. <laughs> 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 and I thought there's got to be a way of doing it. So it's just basically your pearl, you're turning your pearl row around and doing it from the front instead of the back. Mm. Were you, not so, were you not intrigued just to do it when you first saw Grace doing it? Or? Well, I would have been, but I was a bit shy then. and she Also, was, you don't... She was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> With a name like Grace. Oh, yeah. mind you, I know Grace. Well, she was very scary. Oh, yeah. But, um, oh, and Cat's middle name's Grace. Um, but also, when you're a child, yeah. when you taught to do something, you don't like to then go, oh, let's do it different. You like you stick No, to it rules, just intrigued you? me at the time. But, but yeah, you're right. I, I, I'm, I was definitely a rules person. Yeah. And I was thinking... Not anymore, it seems. Ooh. Right, message on the bottom from who? Margaret. I learnt the backward knitting from Carol on Yarn Lane. Oh, Six years Margaret. I've been knitting. Game changer. There you go. That it's was Margaret. Margaret. Margaret in Berkshire. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had a few chats with Margaret. Bless. Oh. Thank you, Margaret. That's what we love about this community is we all kind of all intermingle. Well, don't I, we? love chat. <coughs> I love the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, I'm off, you know, I chat with people on there quite a lot. It's lovely. Yeah. Well, that's what knitting's all about. It, it is community and yeah. passing on skills and, and so on. Oh, Christine, I don't know if Kat's seen it yet. She says, wow, well, never seen knitting backwards before. P.S. I've sent a picture question via email for help. Is it? She's just looking for you now. Right, on my last row here, this triangle. Yeah. So, but you don't have to do the knitting backwards. You, you don't, don't have to, to do it. You just no. do the turning, turning, turning. If you're fine with that, can't you? Yeah. Oh, Christine, what we'll do is we'll pass your question on to Carol later, if that's all yes, right. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And if it's something other people want to know, I can put it on the the Facebook. Oh yes, Facebook exactly. Brilliant group. So there's my first little triangle. Oh, yes. How cute. Oh. And then you, you just carry on and make some more. So right. But where's the gap? How does the, where does the gap come in? Right. Then? This is how. Have we got to, Yeah, we have got Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. So you work until you've got nine stitches, but only eight of them actually are, are part of that triangle. This first stitch here is the beginning of the next triangle. Right. So I've made that. I'm going to purl, I'm going to purl back. Knit backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Just that one stitch, leave all the others where they are, and then knit front and back, and you start from the beginning again. Oh, I see. Pearl backwards, just them two. Now, this is where some people might like to pop a stitch marker between. Right. Because you don't. Oh, caught the yarn a bit there. There we go. You don't actually work across the first eight stitches that you leave them. So you could pop a stitch marker on your on your needle there to remind you not to work them. You okay. don't do anything with those yet. You work with those later on. Brilliant. So knit, knit and you carry on and make another one okay. and then make another one and so on. So then you end up with a whole knitting needle full of triangles. Yeah. Then is one I prepared earlier. Uh -huh, so brilliant. you end up with a whole load of triangles and you actually end up with 20 of them. Right. If, you, if you're sticking to the size in the pattern. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to go and do the squares that fill in. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So I'll use this one here. And you do make this on a circular needle because you do actually join and work. You, you still work one tier 
one way and one tier another, but you do actually join. And you join at the end of this first row of squares into a circle. So I've got all my diagrams here. I've done lots of diagrams for this because it's really hard, he, hard to explain in words. Yeah. So here we are. We've, we've just done our triangle. Triangles were at the last one here. Now we're going to turn and pick up some stitches. But the first thing we do is we're going to purl the last set of stitches. And I, I am doing this from the, from the purl side this time, yeah. just uh, for quickness. So purl those last ones. And you've only got eight on there because you don't do the extra one because you, you've- Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Now, you've got this gap here and you've got to pick up stitches in this gap and purl them. Right. So you pick them up purl wise and you've got to pick up eight stitches. So what I tend to do is try and work out because sometimes there's bumps on the wrong side here. Right. So I pick up from between the bumps usually. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. It doesn't have to be that even. Let's, let's start here and see how we get on. <laughs> so you just go from back to front through your knitting yeah. and purl. Oh, goodness, the first one's the hard one. Oh, is it? Yeah, I keep, keep losing it. One, two, four, six, and lost that stitch. We'll get there in a minute, folks. Yeah, right, yeah. here we go. Let's try again. There, that's better. One. Two, three, you get pra better practices as this as you go on, obviously. Three, four, And then I like to pick up a last one. Sometimes it will be in that really small tail, but sometimes not. You can always hide a few gaps. So I've picked up eight, I think. Let me just check. Two, four, six, eight from the first one. Two, four, six, eight from the second one. Okay. Turn around and knit those eight stitches. Okay. Yeah, you'll, it'll all become clear in a minute. You're thinking, how on earth is this going to work? Yeah, I've got, I'm befuddled. Yeah. That's my eight. Right. Now I'm going to turn and purl. Yeah, well, yeah. Just to make, you know, because I don't want to. Yeah, because we'll confuse it if we do confuse him. Right. The next row, you purl seven of those eight. Uh huh. Four, five, six, seven. And then, this is the clever bit, you purl this one together with the next stitch from the next triangle and that right. connects it. Yeah. You have to do a few rows for this to become clear. So let me just quickly move on. So turn and knit again, just knit eight. Nine. Eight. This is why I've got lots of diagrams for this. Yeah, exactly. So you can see the shapes. Eight, turn, pearl seven, And you do this until you've used up all the stitches on your next triangle. Mm -hmm. Seven. Pull that one together with that okay. one. And we might start to see the shape a bit now. So they're going to be joined oh, all the way yes. up like that. Do you see? Yeah. Yep. Who on earth? <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a good question. It's Who not like they've discovered it on accidentally. Earth? Who on earth will have thought, oh, if I just do that and I just do that and I get that there and I put that there. Do you know, that that's there. really interesting. I want to find out now who invented it. Somebody must have come up with it. And says you learn something new every day. Been knitting for 65 years and never seen the way you knit backwards. Just fascinating and enjoying watching the demonstration. Thank you very much. Oh, that's oh, nice. Bless. So I'm knitting, but I'm going to knit... Oh, caught my stitch. I'm going to knit backwards this time. Okay. 
while you knit backwards, I'm going to have to say we're about to run out of time. So I have to yeah. thank Carol so much for coming in today. Uh, you're back in on Monday, aren't you? Yes, I am on Monday, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you very quickly, it's that Yarn Lane's half birthday on Monday. So all five hours of Sewing Street will be Yarn Lane with five guests. Carol's doing, you're 10 o'clock, aren't 10 you? 10 o'clock, yeah. I've got the calf facet kits, lovely. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. If you see the advert, you see the advert, they're all, all the different people are all in there because there's Delphine, isn't there, and everybody like that. So have a look at the advert. Now, have I got time to sum up? Or I'm just going to say, right, okay, very quick roundup then while you carry on knitting over there. I can't do the um, water lily in the crochet because that's sold out. So this one here, let's just do this one here. So we'll start with this one. You get two balls of the yarn plus the instructions, $21.99. Uh, you also got that. Now, that one's in Harmony. This one's in Mystery. I'll get there in the end. That's Mystery, $21.99. And then this one is Autumn. Got it right. Autumn and Mystery are neck and neck in the lead, just so you know. Okay, right. So thank you ever so much, Carol. You're welcome. Well, I won't see you on Monday. Rebecca Reed will see you on Monday. Um, I'll see you uh, tomorrow morning on Sewing Street at 8 o'clock. And Yarn Lane, I say, is back on Monday. And it's a whole five hours of Yarn Lane. So until I see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll say goodbye.